Hey guys, if you're watching this anytime before midnight on March 27th, you can use the coupon code SPRING to sign up for Guitar Super System, my guitar learning platform, for just five bucks for your first month. Use the coupon code SPRING when you sign up using the link down below. I just released a new music theory curriculum for those of you who are getting introduced to music theory. And I've also updated a lot of the older lessons on the platform and added some brand new ones. Plus, I'm giving away a brand new guitar to a Guitar Super System student next month. Thank you very much for your support. Now I'm going to teach my wife the easiest Green Day riff ever. And it's also the most fun one to play. Leave a comment down below if you have an idea which one it is. Hello and welcome to another teaching my wife to play insert riff lick. Last time you learned to play a Red Hot Chili Peppers solo? Yes, and I succeeded. Here we are, I'm going to teach Bethany the easiest and best Green Day riff. Riff? Green, Raff. Green, it's like you're a valley girl. Green Day riff. <laughs> the best Green Day riff, which is subsequently the easiest, so it really works out here. And Especially for me. Yeah, so you're gonna have a great time. I started playing the piano when I was like six years old, and I learned Green Day riffs on the piano. And that was how I kind of started getting into rock and roll music. And then obviously I went on to play Green Day riffs all the time on guitar because they were easy and fun. Who doesn't like fun and easy? So I guess we're gonna have to get a couple of guitars, right? No, not necessarily. Okay, Bethany, which guitar will you choose? We have uh, the strats up in the right, the cream of the crop on the left, the hollow bodies in the bottom left, and the metal machines on the bottom right. You know, it doesn't have to match the Green Day style. Just pick one that speaks to you. I like this one. All right, she goes with the semi-hollow custom 22. A fabulous choice. Thank you. Let's get started. Let's go. All right, here's how it goes. Ready? Yep. This is what you're gonna learn. Okay. See, okay, this is an important point. <laughs> you already know how the song goes, so this is going to be easier to learn than if you had never heard this before. So why aren't you teaching me a Taylor Swift song? Why am I not teaching you a Taylor Swift song? Because I want to teach you a good song. <laughs> rude, rude. I'm just kidding. We all know how we feel about Taylor Swift in this house. She's, Love. She's great. But... <laughs> We're gonna just, you know, keep it a little rock and roll, and okay. this is a very formative riff in my childhood, and I want you to learn it. You remember a power chord? I think I taught you a power chord when we learned one. Yeah. By Metallica. Yeah. Uh, power chord is powerful. So okay. this is like not a power chord. Ready? That's this a is, weak chord. That's a weak chord. <laughs> this is a power chord. Awesome. So the song's actually a half step down, but that doesn't matter. Okay. We are going to start with our first finger on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. Second bird. Okay. <laughs> That's now, a good way to describe it. Ring finger on the third bird. Third. What? E yeah, next string down. Uh, keep that first finger up there though. Oh my god. No 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 no. Put it on the on the A string, on the A the, the this, second string. This one? Yes, but... That's what but, I uh, <laughs> Okay, put your first finger on the fattest string, this? second bird. This second one? bird, there you go. Ring finger, you know what, use your pinky. Use your pinky Indeed. on the second fattest string. Oh. Set third bird. Okay. That is it. Those are the only two strings you have to play. Here, let me give you a pick. Here, I got a pretty one for you. I don't think my hands are big enough. Yeah, they are. Am I supposed to be flicking people off with my ring finger like that? That's okay, it's just your ring finger. All right. Does it sound right? I don't, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what sounds better, what you were doing this? Or? So what am I doing wrong? 
you're playing too many strings. Power chord is two notes. And you can lay your fingers across so you can actually go like that. The fact that these strings aren't ringing is because my pinky's resting on them. So I can go. So you don't have to arch so much. You can be lazy with it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So now these strings shouldn't make any noise. And now all you do is move that down. Second bird here. First bird. Yeah, but keep the shape. Yeah. Is that? Yep. Is that? That's it. Right? That's it. Ow. Yeah. Jeez. Feel the burn. Down one fret. Spread them. Ow. <laughs> one more. Clean that up. How? Only play the top two strings. <laughs> Last thing <laughs> here. So this is the same thing, but just it's an open power chord. So yeah. Top two strings. Huh? Can you do it? Those are the chords that we're dealing with. Ooh, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> and then stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Last one. Yeah. Wait. And back. That was it. That was it. This one. That. That. But then you go back around to the to repeat it. going like that and that's why those strings are ringing like that if you turn your hand like that see how it's like a mute <laughs> now let's add in going back to the beginning so The progress uh. meter goes up. You're getting it, you're getting it. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, 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 it's terrible. That was Woo! pretty good. I have to say, for 30 minutes, we're My rocking pinky out. Needs some work. Pinky needs some work, but you have the gist. Should you continue your power chord journey, that's all there is to it. But really, holding down the rhythm for never playing guitar—that's that's like something you can't teach. Rhythm is innate, so you did good. I've got rhythm, y'all. Girls got rhythm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, heated action-packed lesson here. <laughs> on uh, Green Day and hopefully it brought you back to your first days of learning to play the guitar. It's still an awesome riff even after all these years I still had a ton of fun playing it with you. Let us know in the comments below if I'm better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Should I force Tyler to teach me a Taylor song? 
let me know in the comments below. Yeah, let us know what song I should teach Bethany next, whether it's Taylor Swift or something else. Keep it in her wheelhouse and uh, maybe we'll do it and shout you out. Go follow Bethany on Instagram. There's a link down below to do that. And follow her on YouTube. There's a link down below to do that. And until next time, here, get your pick. You can do the sign off. You gotta flick it at them. Until next time. Oh, <laughs> keep shredding. I didn't flick it, I just threw it. <laughs>